Welcome, ladies. We'll wait just a few minutes for people to find me. Hi, Connie and Nancy and Anna. Welcome. I'm going to make a couple of beautiful cards. Hello, Wani. Welcome. I'll wait just a couple more minutes. Hope everybody's doing okay. People must be busy. It's beautiful outside. I just came in. All right. I won't make you wait much longer. Okay, I guess we get started. I'm not sure where everybody is, but most of you know me. My name is Corinne Sandin. Um, I teach stamping and scrapbooking. I do just have a couple of uh, housekeeping stuff. Um, the box that's coming for next month is designed by one of the original founders of Stampin' Up. It's the current CEO's mother. Um, it's going to be a special edition. It will be called nine cards and coordinating envelopes. And then you can fill the box with keepsake memento. So if you're not currently a Paper Pumpkin customer, you'd like to be one, you can private message me and I will give you the information. And those of you that are looking towards fall for some fun things, I have a couple of scrapbooking events already scheduled. Um, you can purchase your tickets at any time. The first one will be Saturday, September 11th at Holy Cross Church in Neuston. And then the second one will be in October at the American Legion in Litchfield. And then we're back at the the church again so just watch my newsletters or if you want me to send you a flyer that you can post someplace we certainly would appreciate all the free advertising we can get so let's get started with tonight's card cards the first one I wanted to make I've been wanting to make one of these for a while it's called the bay window card so you can see it's kind of popped up. It's really fun. I don't know why it took me so long to sit down and figure it out and learn how to make it because it's a lot of fun. So I have a couple of extra of both of the cards tonight. So if you share my video, um, the first four people that share the video will get one of these cards in the mail. So let's get started with this card. I do have the measurements here on a piece of paper for you. So the card itself is 4 by 11. You're going to need some mats. As you can see, there are uh, the uh, Midnight Mystic Moonlight. So you need three that are one and a quarter by four. And then the one in the center that's a little bit wider is one and a half by four. Then you need designer series paper that's just a little bit smaller. So you need three pieces that is one inch by three and three quarters and then one that is one and a quarter by three and a quarter and these are our score marks so let me get out my pieces and then I use the uh, this stamp set the beauty of friendship because it goes along with this designer series paper this designer series paper is still on sale until the end of the month, so you only have a few more days to save 15% of it. So this is a bungle, so it has a coordinating dies, which is how you see uh, these pieces that I have cut out. 
So let me grab my scoreboard. Welcome, Donna. I see Donna has joined us as well. All right, so let me get my cheat sheet out here. So we're going to put the 11 inch side across. So it's four and a quarter by 11. So that's our standard uh, size that we usually make a card. So the first one is three eighths. Each one of these is an eighth so it's just before the one quarter mark up oh, where's my little when you're having a hard time using your scoring take an old dryer sheet rub it across and you should be good it is a little narrow here so i'm sure that that's some of it but as you can see it really helps smooth it out so three eighths one in seven eighths, which is just before the two. Three and five eighths, which is right after the three and a half. And then your regular card score mark, which is five and a half. You put this away. So we're going to grab a bone folder. We're going to fold all of these and burnish them. There. So let me set that aside a minute while I put all my designer papers on their mats. Okay, so we have three. some short one all right well I'll have to fix this one after so we should have three that is this size which is one and a quarter and then you have one that's a little bit wider this particular piece is one and a half so this is uh, this is one and a quarter and the designer paper is one so let me use my uh, wet glue so, everybody's had a good day today? Hi, Diane. So, a little goes a long ways. I'm centering that on the Mystic Moonlight to give it a, a little frame all the way around. I'll do these two. A little bit more wet glue. Do a little bit of adjustments here. All right, so one goes here, and the larger one goes in the middle, and then this one goes here. And then I cut some little pieces. Looks like we're missing a score mark here. This should be three eighths, one and seven eighths, three and five eighths. Looks like I'm missing a score mark here. Let me go check something. Hold on a minute. I must have wrote my directions wrong, as usual. Okay, so let me get back to you guys. So we need, this is five and a half. So three and three, or three eighths. Okay, this should be another score mark. So let me come in here, come back to five. 
because we should have a little half inch quarter inch piece here yeah I will update that before I post it tomorrow because what we're going to do yeah so now this is going to get attached down so that we get that bow window so let's put these on This is a great man's card, sympathy card. I did not put a greed in because I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. And the ones that I have created for, every, for up to four people that share my video tonight, I did not put a greed in on them either. So I have two of this card and two of the next card. So I wanted to have a little bit of a frame in, so I just took some scraps that I have of uh, Smoky Slate, this is. You know those little pieces that we never know what to do with them? Well, that, this is a good project to use them on. So I'm going to make sure that is attached. I have another one over here for the other side. Hold that down just for about 10 to 15 seconds. You get my snips out and trim this. I'm going to grab a piece of moonlight. All right, so here's my scrap. Let me cut another piece for that last one because it's kind of important. So. Let me do that. So I want it to be one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this one will go inside. Oh, it's not five and a quarter, it's four. I'm so used to doing the five and a half that when I change my size, I forget. So I did put a piece of white here so you could write your own greed in. So let's put that in first. So this is your standard four by five and a quarter. And then we're going to put this in. Just like that. And we're going to set that right on the edge over here. Because this is like, uh, you know how we do easel cards? It's the same principle. So I'm putting that right here on the very edge. I'm going to put my little, you can die cut this, this is some more of the paper. We need some of the little pop-ups. You grab a few of those. I'm going to cut a little wedge for the trunk. Don't waste any of your pop-ups. Then I'm just going to put a couple of more of 
the bigger ones to hold this on. All right, let's take all of that off. Get my pickup tool. All right, so we want to place that right in the center here. On that center panel. And uh, you can see I used a different, I wanted to see what it looked like. So this little piece right here, we're going to stick a couple of pop-ups behind that as well. It's kind of like a door stopper, I think of it as. And then, of course, we need a couple of those really super cute birds. They're all die cut from paper that comes in the packet, which I'll show you in just a minute. You have a bird going in each direction when you cut them out with the die. So let's test this out. So there you have it. Which one do you like better, the solid green leaf or the one that has the different colors? I don't know, I kind of like both of them. I really don't have a, too much of a preference. So I will fix those directions. Okay, so if up to four people share these. I have two of these cards and two of the next card to pass out, to send to people that share. Okay, so let's move right along to card number two. The different colors, Ronnie likes the different colors. Tammy likes them both. Yeah, I do too. I think I like the colored one though, a little bit better. All right. Different colors, yeah. So this is card number two, which I'm going to be using as a wedding card, because I needed one. You could use it as a wedding card or an anniversary card. It's called a pocket card. And the two papers that I'm showcasing tonight are my two favorites that are on sale. So the beauty of nature, which is what the first card was made out of. This is the back side, so you get some sky, you get some winter, fall, beautiful colors. These are the coordinating colors that go with it. So you have your nice yellow, that is bumblebee, crazy occasion, cinnamon cider, early espresso, Mary Mirna, mystic moonlight, which is what I used, mossy meadow, and night of navy, and old olive. I also found a couple of other colors that I've used with it. And then the project with the butterfly is from the hand-penned uh, paper. So again, these are the back side. So you have a beautiful floral on one side and then a soft, subtle type contrast. And then these are all the colors that go with it. So a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of colors. So... Let me get all of my materials out. I did make a matching envelope. So, for this one, you're going to need a piece of designer series paper that measures 4 by 10 and a half. We'll be scoring that in a minute. And then you have a back mat, which you see here on this purple one which is where the pocket is held. That's your standard four and a quarter by five and a half. And then for the insert, we have two pieces. The mat is, is uh, three and three quarters by five and the top layer is three and a half by four and three quarters. I have another butterfly. Then I put a little piece of scrap on mine down here, A, to decorate it, 
but in case I decide to put in a gift card, it will already be there. Since I haven't bought the present yet. Okay, so let's get some score marks on here. Get my scoreboard out. We only need two simple score marks. Five and a quarter. So remember, this is designer series paper. You're not building a house, so don't press like you do for a cardstock because you'll certainly rip it. And then nine and a quarter. So it, it creates a little, about one and a quarter flap for you. back together all right so we're going to fold these over so that the pretty paper is on the outside and then this little one and a quarter we're going to fold that down now at this point you have a decision to make You can either put this on directly and wrap the ribbon around, which is what I chose to do to dress it up, or if you wanted to put your ribbon around now before you attach it. I did not seal the sides. I'm going to wrap it all the way around. So I'm going to put my adhesive on now. This particular card will be in the next Stampin' Stack. I'm not too sure what paper yet, but for those of you that like to buy them, this will be in the Stampin' Stack. I just fell in love with it, and it's such a nice fold with all of the fall holidays coming up and weddings and anniversaries. It's so perfect. So, I could not decide if I wanted the green, which is the um, soft succulent from our ink colors, which is very pretty, or we also have this one. I'm kind of leaning to the green because this is a pale papaya, but to me it gets a little too washed out. See here, that was a little bit darker. So I think I'm going to go with the green. So you want to leave yourself a little tail, wrap it around, guess I don't need that much of a tail, and then you could have made it into a bow, but I'm not going to. Okay, so now we need some ribbon scissors. Where are they? Right here. Okay. So there is my little pocket. Now at this point... You can move your bow wherever you want it to be, your tie. Now we need another little piece to put between here. So you're going to take, oh, I don't know, three and a half inches maybe. It's hard to tell. You're going to make a V with that and take a piece of tape, either scotch tape or masking tape, whatever you have handy. I'm going to try to center it. Tape that down. Now I can take some strong adhesive, uh, wet glue or 
I'll have you your tape if you think you need it. Oh, hold on a second. Somebody's at my door. <laughs> okay so sorry about that somebody was at my door okay so now I'm going to center this so that we have a frame all the way around it burnish that and then I'm going to put this other piece because I have a feeling I probably will end up using it as a gift card so let me put a little bit of wet glue here on three sides to create the pocket oh now I'm beeping I'm telling you people <laughs> oh, hold on a second I have a continuous glucose monitoring so when something's not right, it goes off. Okay. That looks good. And I always have a whole bunch of butterflies cut out. So I have one right here. I'm going to put a little bit of wet glue behind that. Then I need a piece of scrap for my words. And I'm going to do those in that same green soft succulent. Yeah. I'll let this sit there just for a second. Okay. Perfect. Ooh. I love it, I love it, I love it, don't you? Okay, grab a cutter here so I can make a nice smooth cut at an angle. There we go. So that's going to go right down there. I did not uh, pop too much up because we have quite a few layers going on here. If you have to mail this, it could be, would require some extra postage. So this beauty stamp is from our bundle of the Elegant Sad. It's so perfect for anniversaries, weddings, birthdays, you name it. Okay, so now we need some blings. Let me find my bling box. Oh, thank you, everybody. I'm so glad you like it. I just think it's stunning and beautiful. So for those of you that are local, or if you're not local and you want a card kit, just let me know. It'll be two weeks from uh, yesterday, the selection process. I bought a lot of this paper because it was on sale, so I'm happy to share it with others. So there, I'm sure the purple is going to win over more than the papaya, but I like the papaya too. Then I have uh, some, some of this. Let me use my uh, tape runner. Where is it? Just because I find sometimes the envelopes don't like the, the wet glue. I'm going to take some tape here, put my paper on. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like it. That makes me happy. So this is how I do it. I lay that down and then put my envelope like that and then give it a haircut
So I hope you guys create one of these cards and share. I would love to see it. And as you always know, all of the measurements will be up tomorrow at some point. There's the pretty envelope to go with that one. Bring these back in. And there you have the class tonight. Thank you so much for joining me, those of you that did. Juani likes the papaya one. Awesome. All right, does anybody have any questions? Okay, remember, if you want to get a chance at getting one of these cards, hit the share button right there in the comment field. I'd appreciate it. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good week, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.